UCI. The Unity Coalition for Israel presents Part 2 of a Celebration of Jerusalem Day. UCI CEO and founder Esther Levins recently spoke with Kansas Senator Sam Brownback. He shared his feelings about Jerusalem with us and offered his thoughts on the importance of the city and the celebration. This is Esther Levins, CEO and founder of the Unity Coalition for Israel. I welcome Senator Sam Brownback to our special Jerusalem Day broadcast. Senator Brownback is one of the strongest advocates for Israel in the Congress and the driving force behind new legislation that will permit an immediate move of the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem. And now we'll hear from Senator Brownback. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to this and talking about and celebrating Jerusalem Day. Uh, This is a critically important day. It is important to the Jewish people. It's important to people around the world. Forty-three years ago, the city of Jerusalem was reunified. We are celebrating that, but we're also celebrating 3,000 years of Jews living in Jerusalem, Uh, but being the center of their faith. I'm here to talk about and to celebrate that aspect of it and also to ask your help. I put forward a bill with a number of co-sponsors called the Jerusalem Embassy Relocation Act of 2009. What this does, it amends the Jerusalem Embassy Act of 1995 to eliminate the president's ability to waive automatic funding cuts for states' acquisition and maintenance of buildings for state departments around the world until... The U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem is officially opened in Jerusalem. Now, as all of you know, the United States Embassy in Israel is in Tel Aviv. It's not in Jerusalem. It is the only country in the world where our embassy is not in the capital city. Uh, I think that's a shame. I think it's wrong. I think it's something that shouldn't continue. And so what we're doing simply by this act is saying no longer can the president waive the will of Congress to move the embassy to Jerusalem that if the president doesn't move the embassy, uh, then funds are cut off for buildings and maintenance of other State Department facilities around the world. It's a tool, a tough tool, for us to force the State Department, the administration, to do what the American people want done, which is to have our embassy in Jerusalem, to do what we should do, which is to have our embassy in the capital city. Now, a number of people look at it and say, okay, this is going to really spark a lot of protests around the world. Uh, But I look at it as it's the right thing to do. And it's also, I think, a good way for us to discuss what Jerusalem is. Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. It has been the Jewish capital for 3,000 years. It is something that we should recognize and honor, and it is a debate worth having. I think it's a debate worth having with the world to say that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel, a, a united Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. And it may provoke some excited discussion in many places around the world, but why not start that discussion? If we are having discussions about a two-state solution in Israel, why not discuss the final status of Jerusalem? And wouldn't we want to be discussing this because it's one of the key issues in the region, in the Middle East? And the United States can push that discussion by saying, okay, we're going to move our embassy to the capital of Israel, which is Jerusalem. So what I would like to urge each and every person listening on this to do is to contact the two members that represent you and urge them to co-sponsor the Jerusalem Embassy Relocation Act of 2009. It's Senate Bill 2737, and ask them to co-sponsor. We already have co-sponsors from Senators Bunning, Cornyn, Inhofe, Kyle, Lieberman, Vitter, and Specter, of course myself, and we need more, and it's time. I think particularly now it is time. This issue's come up off and on for many years. But as we get further down the road in the discussion of sort of a two-state type of solutions, I certainly think we ought to be bringing up the discussion of Jerusalem, and this would do it. And this is something that the United States has in their sole power to do, is to move our embassy to Jerusalem. So thank you for listening. Thank you for your joining in the celebration of Jerusalem Day. It's an exciting day when we look at the history of Jerusalem, an incredible city, a city like no other in the world. And I commend you and uh, encourage your further celebration of this by pushing for the embassy to be moved. Thanks so much. God bless you all.
Thank you, Senator Brownback, for being the key sponsor for the Senate Relocation Act. Let's pursue this and hope that many of our listeners join with us in this wonderful endeavor to bring the Capitol alive in Jerusalem. Thank you so much. We want to have a groundbreaking service, and I hope you'll be there with us to celebrate. Since 1991, the Unity Coalition for Israel, UCI, has educated and motivated millions of people around the world to action in support of Israel. UCI is an alliance of Christian and Jewish organizations and individuals working together to ensure the sovereignty, safety, and security of Israel, America's only reliable democratic ally in the Middle East. We want our listeners to participate by going to uc4i.org slash move. That's uc, the number four, i.org slash move.